and we'll come back to the second questions about synchronous generators. So in this question, we're having a delta connected generator, and we are given EA, the internally generated voltage as 14.4 kV, and the terminal voltage as 12.8 kV. Now, since this is a delta connected, so the phase voltage and the line voltage are the same. As we know that we are the data we are given in any question, the default is the line to line. But because this is a delta connection, then the line to line and the phase are the same. Then we are given the synchronous reactance XS as 4 ohm. And we ignore the resistance. So as you can see here, there is no RA. RA is ignored. First, if the torque angle is given to us, what is the power that's supplied by the generator? Now, there is the general formula of the power that we know P is equal to root 3 V line I line cosine theta. This is the general formula for the power. But also there is another formula special if we have a generator that we are ignoring its armature resistance. So the P is equal to 3 times V of the terminal times EA divided by XS sine delta. And delta actually is the angle between VT and, and EA. Okay, so this is equal to 3. Now, as I said, because this is a delta, the VT and EA is actually both the line and the phase voltage. But this formula here, VT and EA is supposed to be the phase voltage. So this is equal to uh, VT, which is equal to 12.8 kilovolt times EA, which is 14.4 kilovolt divide by XS, which is 4 ohm, sine the angle between the two, which is 18. And this will give me a total power is equal to 42.7 megawatt. So this is part A. Part B, what is the power factor of the generator at this time? Okay, now we are not given the load here. So, the power factor is actually the angle between the IA and the V terminal. That is the definition of the power factor of a synchronous generator, which is basically the angle of the load, but we don't know anything about the load here. Okay, so we need to find IA, I, this IA, basically what is it? Now, if you look to the model, of the generator, this is XS, this is your EA, and this is your VT, and this is your IA. So I, I'm just looking one of the phases. So your IA is equal to EA minus VT divided by JXS. Now EA, we know the angle of it. Okay, so it's equal to 14.4 angle of 18 minus the VT, which is equal to 12.8 for this is KV, and this is also KV, angle of zero divided by J4. And you will find that this is equal to 1135 angle of minus 11.4 um, this is IA now the power factor is equal to cosine theta V terminal minus theta I armature which is equal to cosine of 0 minus minus 11.4 and this will give me a power factor equal to 0.9 lagging so this is the power factor of the of the question then part c sketch the phaser diagram under these circumstances so we want to to draw the phaser diagram okay how we do that we start with your 
V terminal or V phase, which has an angle of zero. This is always our reference. Then we have our IA with a small angle equal to 11.4. This is your IA. So if we reflect this one here, this is your IA. Then, then what we want to find the IA times JXS. Remember, your EA is equal to the VT plus IA times JXS. So this will have a 90 degree phase shift. So this will be equal to, this will be 90 degree of this. 90 degree of this. So this is your IA times JXS. Now the VT plus this, this will give you your, your EA. This is your EA. And the angle here, as we know it, the power angle or the torque angle, which is equal to 80. Okay. Now, the last part, ignoring the losses in the generator. So we ignore all the losses in the generator. What torque must be applied to its shaft by the prime mover? Okay, so if there is no losses, okay, you're, then you're, the power that you are dealing with is the same. P is constant. P in, P out, all the power is constant because we are ignoring the losses, which is equal to the power was being calculated as 42.7 megawatt, 42.7 megawatt. So we'll take this, the P is equal to the torque times omega M. Now for, to find omega M, we had to find N. N is equal to 120 times 60, the frequency divided by two, because this is a two pole machine, and this will equal to 3,600 RPM. So the torque will equal to the power, which is 42.7 megawatt or 10 to the power six, divided by the speed 3600 times 2 pi over 60 to change the speed into into omega and this will give me a total torque equal to 113300 newton meter